Good morning, Lego Super Mario fans. I am Brickwise, and today I am joined by... Lego Mario fan. Lego Mario fan. And today we are going to be reviewing set number 71376, the Flop Drop. So this is an add-on set. It doesn't come with Mario or Luigi, which... Hi, Mario. Hi, Luigi. So these are all the so and it also doesn't come with a thwimp, but the thwimp was the reason uh, when we got this in one of the mystery packs. Uh, this was the reason that we needed to get the thwomp because thwimps are baby thwomps. Because thwimps are baby thwomps. Yep. So that's why he's here. But he doesn't come with the set. So what you do get with the set, you see right here on the base plate, uh, these extra pieces here. They're the normal, normal types of extra pieces that you would expect to have extras of. Um, this was a young set to build. It was, but I will point out the box says eight plus, uh, three hundred and ninety-three pieces. But my son, who is five, five built the whole thing by himself. He even did the techno technic pieces. Uh -huh. The technic was the hardest part for me. Yeah, so... The funny but, thing, he stole wand curse. <laughs> so there is, um, so there's, a, there's some neat things about this set here. Uh, so first off, uh, I'm gonna talk about the good and then I'll talk about the, the bad. So, yeah, so number one, there's no stickers on this set. There hasn't been any stickers on any Mario sets that I've seen so far. Um, I'm going to point something out. It's sad that people die because there's bones there. Oh, yeah, that's true. So, they must be Goomba Goombas. But you remember, yeah, there is bone Goombas and, and dry bones and things like mm -hmm. that. So... Maybe it's just a living track, right? Because mm -hmm. it does move. In the games, it moves by itself. Uh, so this, the, the the mechanic of moving back and forth, basically watch up here. As I, as I pass here, watch. It'll kind of go down a little bit. So there's that. And if it goes, hold on. If you go back, it'll fall. So it, it has a two-step process, and then you just pull it back up to reset it. Or, oh, you want to do it? Uh-huh. Go ahead. I'm going to so that up more, so, oh. So if you turn the cloud twice, then it also falls. Go ahead. Okay. Um, he also has a little thing at the top here. You can kind of see it, which you have to hit him five times. One, two, three, four, five. We want to talk more about that. So we have to turn him off and on again. No, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So then the other thing is too, so you've got these two right here. You've got one, and both of them make music. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do this like this. So this one right here is uh, one where you can push him down a little bit so that he uh, is on there. Then this one right here makes the same music. And that one's a little bit harder. You see how he moves around, but he doesn't on the other one. So it, you have to be kind of slower to move him in order to, to have that. You go back the other way, and he'll fall right on. Oh! <laughs> what broke? So he got nothing broke. It was just the extra pieces. So that's, that's how that whole thing works. So one thing. I'm going to point out here, er, er, if with all the boxes of Mario, with Diego Mario, oh, oh, uh, yeah, some come with a, uh, if you ooh, scan it, it don't flow right now, and if you turn it off and then scan it again, it works again. 
Well, and I'll tell you, I'll show, do... ooh, this is a core piece. Well, it doesn't come with this set, so let's not talk about that piece. So we're reviewing this set, remember? I, for, I don't know what piece that's from. So now, so it's got some good, and then it comes with two fire bubbles, and the fire bubbles are just a single... Every time you jump on them, you get a coin. So there's nothing, nothing more special about Blonde them. They don't get, they don't get. Uh, funny thing. They don't get. Um, they don't burn them or anything like that. So uh, that's those. Hey, a uh, good reminder at this point in the video. Don't forget to like and the video subscribe. and subscribe to Brickwise. Comment down below if you have the set. It is a retired set now, so it is difficult to find. Uh, we were able to get it on Amazon still for normal MSRP, which is $39.99. But it's no longer available on the LEGO website and no longer available on the Target website. Um, I didn't check anywhere else, but uh, keep that in mind. Um, if you're watching this well into the future, then you may not be able to get it anymore without paying a, a decent fee on eBay or something. With that being said, there is some really cool mechanics here. It, you may have seen as this dropped a couple times, watch this platform right here. We'll drop them again. The platform flips over as the thwomp drops and hits this right here. So platform is under here, hits that. When it falls down and flings anything that's on here uh, off. Nothing specifically special about this side here, but basically starter here, jump on here, move across, and get over here, defeat the fire bubble, and go. Um, now, there is a couple things that I think could have been a little bit better uh, about this set. Number one, this moves, but it's a little bit uh, rough. It's a little bit hard to move. It gets stuck in certain places. Um, so... I'm going to point one thing off. There's so much things in the swamp. If you look in there, there's so much things. You said so the good viewers because they don't know what I'm talking about. Today. You're talking about inside the swamp. Um, yeah, let me, I'm going to pause the video to see if I can take off the swamp easy enough and, uh, and show that one second. Okay, so we got the thwomp off. Uh, you just basically take off uh, these three little part areas here in order to take him off. He's not really meant to come off. Uh, so generally speaking, you're going to leave him on. But uh, first off, I do like, though, how they did the, the front face right here. Uh, this is two 2x4 uh, two plates uh, surrounded by these, these pieces here. That's really neat. Uh, the sides are just flat. Um, you've generally seen it from the front, so this next part isn't really a huge issue unless you also come from behind with it. But uh, these here, I mean, they bleed through. So it would have been nice if they had used gray pieces for these instead. Um, I understand they color code for a reason, but you can see them from, you know, from the side and from the bottom. So if they had just used gray in some of these ones that bleed through, then it wouldn't have been as big of an issue. Uh, what he was talking about though, on the inside you can see, this is how the, the step process goes. As it turns, it goes one way to the other. Um, might be hard to see in there. Let me maybe take off this side, add some light in there. Um, but you can see the, uh, you can see kind of like the, the wedge pieces in there. Oh, let's see, what if I turn on? There we go. So you can kind of see the, the wedge uh, type pieces in there. So it's kind of neat mechanics uh, to make it, to make that two-step fall process occur. Uh, with that being said, I think those are the main, main parts about this set. Um, I saw that uh, uh, tower is the hardest thing to build. Yeah, so the Technic Tower does, uh, or the tower does have a lot of Technic uh, parts to it. Um, it's definitely fun uh, in the end, but it does take some time to build. Um, but with all that, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to Brickwise. Comment down below. Throw a like on the video. It's much appreciated. And anything else you want to say before we sign off? Like the video. No, yes, I'm too. Oh, that part where I showed off a random piece. No, it's okay. It's okay. We do want to stick to topic, but it does happen, right?
Ooh. Right. All right. So with all that in mind, I want to say thank you very much and have a wonderful rest, rest of your day. Of uh, goodbye. Goodbye.